Oh, thank you, sir. What do we do here? He's going to get us all messed up. Yeah, just try to keep him right there if you can. Okay, here he comes. Yep. He's coming up. He's going to get us all messed up, ain't he? That's all right. We'll fix that. Where's the portable camera? Ah, it's here in my pocket. Hold on, mate. Being in rods, hand, hand, handle him just fine. Woo! Wow, we got it. <laughs> Not what we're after, but we'll take it. Yeah. Especially on, on a day like today. Wow, what is that, three pounds? He might go a touch over that, actually. Really? Uh, let's see here. I need to give you some slack. There you go, dude. I see that bag. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, I'm over here getting busted up myself. Oh, you had a bite. Look at that one, man. What do you think? All right. Yeah, there's some, there's some better fish down here, dude. Look. Oh, yeah. We're yeah. going to throw this one back. Oh, you got one. Be a speck, baby. Come on. Oh, another bass. We're going to turn this into a bass show, Curtis. Hey, that's quick. fine by me. <laughs> Scott Stevenson? Yes, sir. Kirby Kirby Ham. Yeah, Kirby Ham. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Too. And, Good to uh, see you. Man, what a cool place you have us meeting you at. We've got yes, airboats galore, fishermen, and I noticed on half these trucks in the parking lot, uh, they had some crappie stickers on them. So, well, we'll see. You know, uh, this place is, you know, a lot of guys like to bass fish out here. Uh, but we're gonna go out here and see if we can catch the crappie. It's been a minute since I fished, fished this place. Uh, we're gonna go out here and, and, and run around and see if we can find something. Now, we're from Kansas. We don't exactly know where we are. Where are we exactly? Well, we, we are about, I'd say, uh, 15 miles west of Bureau Beach. Bureau uh, Beach. Bureau Beach, Florida, yes sir, Indian River County. And we're out here west of town. Uh, this is just a big marsh, you know, uh, Garcia's is the name of it. Uh, uh, we're probably, I'd say, no, uh, less than half an hour away from uh, Stick Marsh, uh, Farm 13. A lot of guys are familiar with that up in Fellsbury. Okay. So we're south of that. A little too windy to try to get out there on, on that body of water. So we're just going to uh, stay up here in, in the marsh, get some of these canals, and, and see what we can do. Man, it looks very, very fishy out there. And hey, I like your boat, man. We've got an express boat. Uh, looks like it is set up with a ton of. Uh, b and rods, you gotta love that. So looks like we're gonna be doing some trolling. Yes, sir, we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some pushing. We're gonna get the eight rods out the front. Uh, you know, I love pushing with these B&M poles and these crappy magnets. Uh, it's just a, it's a fantastic combination. You tip them with a minnow, and uh, usually they can't stay off of it. So we're just gonna go out here and, and see what we can do. It's fishing, so no promises, but we're gonna have a good time. Hey, man, I appreciate you entertaining myself and my son. What's up, Nate? Yes, sir, Big Nate. <laughs> Big Nate's in the house. We are gonna try to catch some Florida crappie. I'm so excited. Yes, sir. With tournament pro Scott okay. Stevenson. Use pro, light, uh, use that term lightly. Right. <laughs> okay. It was snowing when we left for the airport today. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> I don't know how y'all, no, no way. No hey, way. Uh, I noticed you got a lot of tattoos here, man. Oh, goodness. Yes, sir. Yeah. And I also noticed in the uh, garage, there was a lot of surf trophies. Ah, uh, you did see that, okay. Well, what are those about? Uh, well, you know, living here in Florida, you, you, you gotta surf. And uh, I started, uh, I was probably about 11 or 12. I, I started surfing and, and got pretty good at it. So I started competing in the, uh, you know, just locally, re you know, regional stuff, nothing crazy. And, uh, uh, that's where we used to punch through. And, uh, you know, just, just ha had a good time with it. Those trophies, they mean the world to me. You know, I was young when, when I won them, and yeah. uh, it's the same thing with this crappy fishing. You know, I, I, I care more about the plaques and the trophies than the money. I mean, the money, you know, my wife will spend that in five, five minutes. <laughs> uh, say hello to your wife. Say hello to your wife, dude. <laughs> hey. What's your wife's name? Uh, her name is Ashley. Say hello to her. Hey, honey. <laughs> I was just kidding. But, uh, but yeah, I know we, we, you know, I, that's kind of what got me into this stuff. I love competing. Yeah. You know? And, uh, I'm finding that more and more as I get to travel the country, you know, most of the people 
like Charlie Bunting. He used to play baseball. Sure. You know what I yeah, mean? Man. And, and uh, basketball and all, yeah. almost everybody that's I've found this crappie fishing in their younger days had some success in sports. Yeah, Ronnie Caps, sure. uh, you know, college football athlete. Yeah, hundred so, percent, man. Yeah, I think that competitiveness, even though a lot of times it's a solo sport, right? Sure. Uh, you know, you're competing with yourself to improve daily. Well, hundred percent, and, and, and you know, you're outside, you're, you're in nature, you're in God's. I mean, look at this. Yeah, I mean, it's just insane out here how beautiful this is. And uh, I think that urge to compete never leaves you. All right, we're all set up. We're going to be pushing uh, crappie magnets at Garcia's South Canal. Now, we're, this is our second choice because we've had some weather issues. Where were we going to go? Well, we, originally we were going to go to St. John's River. Uh, that's about two and a half hours north of here. Uh, between uh, Astor and Deland is kind of where we were gonna we were gonna play around at. But the weather up there is just uh, lightning in the whole thing. So. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're here. Got uh, eight poles set up. Got the BGJPs uh, in what size? Uh, we got 14 foot BGJPs. Okay. Um, and they're out on the sides here in the uh, three and four hole on each side. And then uh, out front in the one and two slots, we got 16 foot uh, B&M Caps and Coleman uh, trolling rod. Caps and Coleman. Yes, sir. Couple wild characters. I bet you've ran into them on the tournament trail. Uh, well, I ran into Steve Coleman at uh, registration for the Crappy Masters up there in, uh, uh, up, up there in Deland. And, yeah. Uh, a nicer guy you couldn't meet. I took a, a selfie with him. <laughs> real, real cool dude. Uh, but, you know, nice, nicest guy. He is a great guy and uh, just a great team. Oh, 100%. I mean, best tournament crappie fisherman ever. Ever. Li living legends, man. I just, sure. two weeks ago, was duck hunting uh, with Ronnie Caps. Really cool. Yeah, I see pictures of him online doing that stuff. Looks like uh, he's just as good at that as he is uh, crappy fish. He has uh, one of the most incredible duck blinds I've ever seen. It's got three stainless steel kitchens in it, 42 inch television where we're watching westerns till the sun comes yeah, up, uh, and then more decoys than you can shake a stick at. Imagine. Yeah. We had some fun. I bet you did. My wife didn't believe me that we were duck hunting because I came back 10 pounds heavier. <laughs> That's <laughs> easy like, to do. You went to that casino. Oh, sure. You've been eating those buffets. And I'm like, no, man. It's the cooking inside the duck blinds. Yes, sir. They do like them tip with things up there. They do like them tip, for sure. Now you didn't Chris man me and not tip my side with minnows, did you? <laughs> huh? Because Chris man fished half the day without any slob bites. Yeah, he wouldn't give them up. I saw that episode. You saw that? Yes, sir, I did. Well, how come Look at these, these fish down there, Kirby. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's a, that's a, these are, these are, but how come these three poles that I've checked so far don't have minnows on them, Scott? That's all planned, buddy. <laughs> are you friends with Chris Mann? Yeah, I know who he is. How do you know who he is? <laughs> I just... No, man, a funny story. Actually. Aren't you on the crappie magnet? Uh, yeah, they just brought me on their, their pro staff uh, got, team there. And you got yeah, one. Oh. I got I got hydro. You got hydro. There's a little bit of it down here, but there's a bunch of fish shooting in and out of here, too. We're just going to have to kind of weed through here. But uh, no, Chris, um, I reached out to Chris on Facebook. Um, it was. It was Yeah, he's a good guy. He's got a pretty good sermon there we go. going on. There he is. Hey, oh, that's all right. Crappie in the boat, Nate. Look. Right. We got our first uh, black crappie, it looks like. Is that a black crappie? Uh, oh, yeah. They're all black. You don't have any whites down here. Oh, okay. No, sir. Oh, there he is, too. Boom. Oh, oh. I'm getting into them. Now they're, now, they're, now they're messing with me here. And I still got to try to see what it is here. Uh, but yeah, they're all blacks down here. Uh, Oh, oh, somebody's about to get bite. I just saw him come stick up. Stick him, stick him, it. Kirby. I got it. Any size to him? No, but hey, see, you know what I found? I think the little ones taste better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Doubling up. Scott Stevenson. We've been here, what, 10 minutes? 10 minutes. <laughs> we'll, we'll, 
we'll figure these juggers out, but look at the color there, Kirby. Oh yeah. I mean, look at the turquoises and stuff. I mean, that's not the prettiest fish. Oh man. That, these are the prettiest, these are the prettiest game fish. Yeah. I think there is, you know what I mean? The only thing that make them prettier was a little batter, a little flour. Oh, we'll get that, we'll take care of that too. <laughs> we'll take care of that too. Uh, are we gonna keep any of these? Um, oh, oh, geez. I've got a tuna fish at the house if you just want to. Okay. That way we don't have to fool with. Uh, what is the length size here? Boy, look how green. We don't even have one. We don't even have one. We don't even have one. Look at the greens and the iridescent oh, purple. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, what were we talking about for the crappie so rudely interrupted us? Oh, Chris Mann. Chris Mann, good dude. I, I, uh, I, I, I was listening to a, uh, crappy connection oh yeah 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 i met those guys down at uh, the grizzly jig festival yeah have you ever been to one of those no sir uh i'm trying to, I'm, I'm gonna get up there um uh, probably on this next one 100 percent, i'll be at the next one. Oh man there's so much fun yeah this, this that, that grand reopening was uh a little too close to that crappy masters event on st john's yeah and uh i didn't want to leave my wife with those kids all three of them by herself for another weekend you know another you. week or whatever but uh no, I, I was listening to that episode, and they had uh, Chris on, and, uh, you know, he's a man of God, as am I. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was like, it's a really cool dude, you know, I like I like listening to it. And then I heard another one a little later, or maybe it was even before, I can't quite remember, but he's on Brush Pile. Oh, yeah, uh, with Russ Bates. With, with Russ, sure. And it was a it was a real, oh, there he is. Oh, come on, baby, Be, have some shoulders on you. Whoa, now. Whoa, now. What you got? I don't know. It's probably a bass, but uh. Bass. Oh, big old large mouth. Not a bass, but uh. So, anyways, we had won a tournament on uh. We had won, won a tournament, a crappy USA event on uh. On the St. John's a little while prior to that, and you know I knew he was into the crappy USA trail. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> so I just reached out to him. Just said, hey man, I enjoyed your uh your podcast and we actually did win that tournament using nothing but it sounds cliche but if we wouldn't have had some of those crappy bag of products in the boat we wouldn't have won really 100 percent. i mean i know that sounds like a plug but uh at the end of the day that's the god's honest truth that bass hit on my favorite color yeah. you can see that that is the butler gold oh my gosh look at that tank Whoa. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh man, that's my first big, big Mississippi crappie. Slab. That is a slab. Picked it off with the uh, Butler Gold. Butler Gold. Can you hold that for me, Kirby? <laughs> and just kind of slam him back. I just got, uh, with this wind, and trying to just bring him and I get a grab hold of this. There we go. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I just reached out to him, and then I became friends with him on Facebook. There's a little uh, Florida, large Florida largemouth, little one, but don't be surprised if we stick a stick a seven or eight pounder out here too. You hear that, Nate? Seven or eight pound bass in here. Oh, uh, there's a lot of big fish out here, dude. Big bass, rather. A lot of guys. That, that's what that parking lot was all about. They're out here hunting bass. I think that's. But. Uh, yeah, so you know, and oh, I, look at these. Yeah, well, I know. I'm yeah. telling you, dude. And they're right up here, so we're just gonna keep pushing in and keep just kind of let the wind push us back and see. You're gonna have to deal with a little bit of hydrilla, but it just kind of goes with the see territory. Yeah, that's one of my favorite combos here. This little uh, green gold flake and that white tail. Yeah. For that, for that pink there. Uh, but uh, so, anyways, yeah, I was talking to uh, to Chris and. On, on Facebook, we became friends on Facebook, and uh, you know, he kind of, of course I told him I'd love to be part of the, I just wanted to be part of something bigger, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm not looking for free rods or free stuff or free anything. I just want to be part of a team, you know what I mean? Like that's a cool Christian, you know, and that's what that's what Crappy Magnet is, and uh, good Christian dudes and you know, a good company, man. So that's what I wanted to be a part of. I don't care nothing about fake, you know, free baits yeah just to be part of something like that is, is super cool and and uh, they rub off on you man well they rub you off know, on you. They, you learn so many s stuff not only about fishing but about being a good human that's it in this that's day it. and age that's it man you get to learn about oh, get one. and you know with my with my boys you know and my little daughter you know i like to bring them fishing and 
Uh, I think he liked seeing, you know, that too, that yeah. I, I involve my kids with this stuff and try to get them involved. And How old are your kids? Uh, my oldest son is about, is, he's eight. And then uh, that he, his name is Tripp. He's eight years old. And then I got Luke is yeah. six years old. And then my daughter Carson is uh, turning four tomorrow. Oh, wow. She's a Valentine's Day baby. Happy birthday. What a, what a great Valentine's Day. Yes, sir. Get. Absolutely. I just want to be part of be part of something cool, you know. I think uh, I think you're on a good start there with crappie magnets, and uh, you're doing well. You took really what did you take ninth place in the last tournament? Yeah, we took ninth place. Um, uh, got uh, your entry back. We got our entry back. We got a couple plaques and you know 550 bucks, and had a blast doing it. And learned a ton. And where was that at? That was up in St. John's. St. John's. Yes, sir. St. Okay. John's River. Um, I came in third in the uh, in the state classic up there, um, which was a lot of fun. Uh, we won that uh, crappy USA event. We come in first in the pro division on that one. Just doing this, pushing the river, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's really what uh, we had a good finish in the the, uh, the end of the year Florida crappy club. That was a memorial event for Mr. Daryl Cole. God, you know, rest his soul, rest in peace. Great guy. And uh, he was the he was the president of the club. Yeah. And, uh, we, we, we came in sixth in that one out of, uh, I believe there's about close to 30 boats in that. Okay. And I had both my boys with me. That was just me and the kids. Oh, so you're basically fishing solo. Yeah. Well, you know, my eight-year-old, he'll reel them in. Nice. You know? yeah. yeah. Help you with the net. That's Help me thing. with the net. You know, he's, they he's, did their part. They did their part. Good job, boys. I did, but, and, and, and Trip, uh, he stuck a 235. You know. Are you kidding no, me? No, sir. I got pictures of it. We. Uh, I want to see that picture. Yeah. He, I don't uh, think I've ever. We, we ended up in sixth place in that one. I did as good as we could do. We didn't have any fish that we lost, you know, no excuses. We did everything we could do uh, and had a blast doing it. So, you know, I uh, like we talked about before, man, I mean, there's there's levels to this stuff and, and knowing where you're at in that order is important. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a top, top guy by any stretch. Um, but anybody can get lucky anybody on any given get, day. It's kind of like the it. whole casino thing. Sure. Anybody can hit a jackpot when they least expect it. You're not kidding, dude. Okay, so what are we doing here now, well, Scott? No, just, uh, you know, every once in a while these minnows, they'll, they'll dance around pretty wild there and, and come off the hook. Uh, see how he's kind of jumping around. So I like to put a little um, uh, slab bite, you know, right there, kind of help keep him on the hook. Oh, that's a, a genius! Little, a little added, a little added scent. Yeah, you know, won't uh, won't hurt anything. So Absolutely. If I, if I have a problem with him jumping off of there, I'll just kind of do that every once in a while. That's a great tip. So tell me a little bit about this setup. So we got a what what ounce sinker? We got yeah, it's a, a three quarter ounce sinker up here. Now I like the I like to use the colored ones. Uh, you know I'll use pink, chartreuse, uh, white, orange. I got some uh, June bug kind of colored deals. Uh, but uh, you know some guys uh, uh, swear by them. Some guys don't think they make a look of good. As far as the rig here, uh, you know I like to vary the colors and give them give them three colors to strike at. So I'll always have a different color head as opposed to the body and the tail. Yeah. Uh, but again, some guys you know they. They've caught millions of fish, not, not worrying about that stuff. But little things like that, I feel like they help, and uh, that's what I do. Now, the, the point of these weights is kind of draw the fish's attention, um, you know, just into the general vicinity, and they see they see this, they might come up to inspect that, and then see, you know, what's down, down here. Below. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, at other times, we'll actually see them popping this bait. I mean, I'm sorry, popping this weight here. So, um, you know, if you're running, let's say, a pink sinker and you've got, you know, black and short, and they keep hitting this sinker over and over, yeah. then you can switch this to, to pink, you know? Oh, that's just a good, as, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's just, and like I say, some guys swear by it, some guys don't think it makes a, a bit of difference, uh, but I'm one of them guys, I like it. Nice. Hey, hey! Dink. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't care if it's a dink or... Yeah, man. I love crappie. I love crappie fishing and learning new styles like this. Yeah, you know, like I, say, like I said before, uh, you know, a lot of these guys, um, a lot of people have gotten away from this kind of fishing, you know, they, and, and with the live scope and everything, I don't blame them. That's well, a great way to fish. Um, but we're utilizing live scope to do this now. Sure. You know? Sure, absolutely. Uh, that was that little white, uh, little white Popeye jig there. Yep. Crappy magnet Popeye jig. Ooh, get his head. No, we're too shallow. We're too shallow. Um, you know, what's funny is a lot of people look at this fishing and like when I or a lot of people 
I'll say, I'll be honest, it was me. I looked at this fish and I'm like, oh, that's kind of lazy. But there's nothing lazy about this. The setup is a little tedious uh, and it's nonstop action in scanning the actual, uh, All right. you got something, Nate? From the back of the boat. Oh, dang it. Hold on a minute. There he is. All right. Another oh, another bass. big old oh, that's bass. That's a crappie there. Oh, it's a monster crappie. Nate, get the net. There we go. Get the net, Nate. There we go. Okay. Oh, come on, button. Oh, come off. That was a good fish right there, dude. That was a good one. That dude, I thought it. that was a bass. I did too. When he first came up, I thought that was a bass. Who taught you this? Um. Was it tribal you know, fire? It, it was, who it, inspired you to, to? Who took you crappie fishing first? I guess. Well, that, my you know my dad. I can remember being just a pup, you know. Yeah. Uh, drifting in an. I, I remember this. I don't remember if we caught fish or not, but I remember being in an airboat drifting across the lake at night. Yeah. That's your one there. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so, so you know, but but like I say, bass fishing was pretty much my thing. I didn't really, and I had always spec fish, but it was always just during the winter months. Right. Um, I didn't really get super serious uh, about it and start targeting them exclusively until about 2013. Okay. And that was basically because I was burned out on bass fishing. Really? Yeah. I just I just got kind of tired of it. Now, did you do the tournament trails? With uh, a little bit. Just very, I mean, just a local Bassmasters uh, trail deal that we had. Yeah. Um, so I just kind of, I just didn't, it wasn't like I said, it wasn't my cup of tea. I don't like uh, bass tournaments or anything, so. Uh, I'd say as far as, uh, you know, pushing like this, um, Daryl Cole, the, the fellow that passed away, he taught me a lot over the phone. Over the phone? Over huh? the phone, man. Yeah? He'd what call, a cool cat. Cool guy, great dude. He would call and uh, to see if I was going to fish the upcoming tournament because he was the president of the club. Oh, okay. And sometimes I could, sometimes I couldn't, but... So he was encouraging you. Yeah, we would always talk fishing, yeah. you know, whenever he'd call. Yeah. And, uh, and he so passed he, away recently? He passed away recently. A uh, real good dude. Yeah. Oh, that's a fish there. That's a big fish there, dude. Let's get the net, mate. Okay. I'm sure that's a bass, but... Uh, Where the net at? Hold on. It's right here, the long thing. Get him, baby. Oh, I thought he was bigger than that. Jesus, oh, Nate, Nate, watch the pole behind you. Oh, crap. <laughs> Whoa, look at this one. Quality stuff. Clean stuff. Oh, we got an another mess going on here. This is Han. Or we got an alligator. I can't tell. Okay. I'm going to reel up all mine. Don't get situated. Thank you, Nate. <laughs> At least we could be catching big bat. Well, hey, look, at least we could be catching something. All right, so what does the wife do? <laughs> oh, yeah, she, uh, we used to, we used to, she, we used to have a beauty salon. Nice. And, uh, Bet she had a blast with that. Yeah, she had a great time with it and uh, had that for about seven or eight years while I was working for another pest control company. And, uh, yeah. And then uh, we decided uh -huh. to, we really wanted to start our own company. That was the goal. We had to sell that salon in order to finance the uh, the startup cost for the for the pest control. So, um, so so anyway, she just does basically payroll and uh, bookkeeping and things like that. Uh, but I'll tell you, with these kids and doctor's appointments and all this other stuff. A fish? Yeah. Fish home. Nate, get the net. No, it's not. It's definitely not a netter. Oh, it's a nice crappie though. Yeah. See if we can. Swing him in the boat. Get a color out of this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful color on it, you know. Good eater size, nothing nothing crazy, but your number two got smacked. I got one too. Uh, dink city, but hey, they might start chewing. Yeah, we're doubling up. Doubling up. Come on, baby. Give me like that. Well, that didn't take long at all. No. Oh my gosh. Just got the table set. Yeah. Speaking of table, I'm excited to eat these. How does your wife like to cook these, or do you cook them? Or? I, I actually cook them. Uh, yeah. yeah, I like to. Uh, it's really nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, whoa! What in the world there? I don't know what that is. 
That might be a big old gar or something. Oh, catfish. Catfish. Hammer catfish. Whoa, whoa. I know those B&Ms will handle that. Thing. I died, dude. I, I'm trying. I, I, this thing could make a mess of everything. He's already got the other pole. Nate, 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 get this. Okay, he's gonna come up right, right. Oh, you gotta go underneath him. I'm gonna swing him back to you. Here he comes. You ready? You ready? A little lower, Nate. A little lower. <laughs> <laughs> you get him? him? All right. And here I am, my face right in the camera. I thought you had one on one. Oh, no, no, we got him. <laughs> All got right, him, Nate. Bring him on Bring in, him bud. On in. I'll give you some slack. Bring him on in. Well, what's that other pole oh, now? Huh? Cool indeed. There we go. All right. Oh, All right. I'm going to spot lock us, guys, and we're going to have to probably get this. Uh, we're going to probably have to get this. Um, we probably net out. Net I mean, out. Uh, uh, umbrella back out. Okay. Here, you know you, can you hold him, crap, uh, Kirby, while I? Yeah. Let's uh, let's go ahead and call her a day. Maybe call her a day. Yeah, it's getting uh, it's getting nasty. We've already dodged a couple storms, and if you look in front of us and behind us, we got some nasty weather. Is that a bullhead? That's a bullhead. Is this a bullhead or a? You're asking the wrong dude. I think that's a bullhead. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's 100 a catfish. Like, yeah, I know it's a catfish. Oh, that, yeah, dude, I don't know. Uh, what do you think, everybody? Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> I could, could, could be. I, no. <laughs> I toss those things back so quick. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, dude. Thank you. Kirby, you you're, you're, you're a patient man. Yeah, thank you, Nate, for being thank, so Thank patient. you for your help, guys. Yeah. Uh, Let's go eat some crappie. What do you say? <laughs> Let's get out of this mess. <laughs>
grits. We're going to have some cheese grits. Cheese grits? Yeah. Nice. I'm getting those ready. Oh, man, that looks amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for letting us yeah. invade your house. No problem. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Oh, we love it. We love it. Count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Take a bite of that fish. Tell me what do you think. Pretty good? Give me a thumbs up. Awesome. Awesome. Pretty good, Trip. You like that? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Delayed response. Your turn? Okay, come over here. Here, we'll get you a piece of fish. Oh, actually, let's go, let's find your plate right over here. All right, let me see you take a bite of the fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big bite. Is it good? Yeah! All right, Carson loves it. And thumbs up, Mommy. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, Mom. Is it good? It is good. Yay, my daddy. Okay, you eat your fish. You eat your fish. Wow. Scott, you're a very blessed man. Yes, sir, indeed. Yes, you are. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Now give me a thumbs up. I can't oh, believe. yeah. Guess what? Thank you so much for watching Fish, Eat, Live. Our mission is to demonstrate the benefits of the Fish, Eat, Live lifestyle. We look forward to educating, entertaining, and attracting you to the healthy lifestyle of the great outdoors. We're definitely going to have some wholesome family fun on the water every Sunday at 6 p.m. So hit that subscription and that notification bell because we want you to come be a part of this.